everybody. It's Benny, Mom, and Andrew. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi, Dave. So, I'm doing video game month, and uh, this is Mega Man. Next will be Sonic the Hedgehog, so don't go grind that in the comic comments. So, this is my top 11 favorite robot masters. So, let's get started. Andrew, what's number 11? Charge Man. Charge Man, I bet. Everyone I play Mega Man 5, except for one, um, is disappointed that he's on here. Now, Charge Man, he has a useless weapon, but it can't kill flying enemies, but it can kill ground enemies. So, yeah. So, he's a red train. He has a fun stage. Now, why is he red? Go watch Game Theory to know that. And uh, I really think he's pretty awesome. He has an awesome stage. You fight giant robot chickens. You also fight. You go in and out box cars. It's pretty fun. And you get shakiness like movement. All right. What's number 10, Andrew? Man. So he's a man that's a horse that is a robot. So he's man horse, my god. I know. Go out screw attack to on Mega Man to know what I'm talking about. So yeah, Sunshine Man has a water level stage, but it is better than Toad Man. It is better than Toad Man. I will rip apart Toad Man to the junk he is in my top whatever worst Mega Man Robot Masters. So, yeah, Centaur Man has a great water level. Um, he's from Greek mythology. I think he's pretty cool, actually. Oh, right, Andrew, what's number nine? Nightman. Nightman. Okay, so Nightman is a giant race that uses to wax you with bonk and bonk and bonk. And a bonk. He has disappointing blocks. Um, that's a uh, hard part core. Puzzles are pretty cool. Oh, uh, some are hard, but it's pretty easy to get if you have the brush coil. I don't think the brush coil is actually in that. But Nightman has an awesome looking design. Him in body armor, that's pretty cool. He He's in a castle, that's awesome. I have little to say about this guy. Alright, Andy, what's number eight? I'm Flow Up Man. Do I know Flow Up right now? Bomb. Well, oh, man. Well, this guy's the first robot master I ever beat, so I got a copy of Mega Man 1. I bought it off of e Nintendo eShop on my 3DS, so I played it, and he was the first robot master I ever be beat, and he has an awesome level, a cool looking design with a mohawk, and he pretty much has a cool weapon. I use it on Cutman, but... Yeah, it didn't work. So why, Andrew? What's number seven? Fireman. <laughs> okay, now. He has an awesome looking face. Like, he has a lighter on his head. His stage is on fire. Literally. Fire comes down the ceiling. He made up a new electricity. Fire electricity. Man, I never seem to get past those. It is awesome. You have hidden health items. Yeah, that is pretty uh, cool. What should I say? Hot. Fire puns! <laughs> Luckily, Mega Man fired him. More bad puns! All right, Andrew, what's number six? Crash Man. Okay, so Crash Man's going to get Mega Man. A crash course is getting crashed. That's the worst pun I ever did. So, Crash Man has these two drills that he uses, and Mega Man can shoot drills out with his power. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about him. But he is pretty cool looking, should I say. And yeah, he does give Mega Man a crash course of getting crashed. <laughs> I, what is wrong with me? Alright, Andrew, what's number five? Metal Man. So Metal Man has big red eyes, a saw on his head, that you may can shoot saw. That is all I need. It's pretty cool to say. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say cruel because he's got to be cruel to Mega Man. Alright, Andrew, what's number four? 
Galaxy. Okay, so he has an awesome design. It's like a UFO. UFOs are coins on their own. And he has an awesome weapon, the Black Claw. I think that's used for um, another robot master. But the Black Claw shoots it out, and it just sucks up all the enemies. Or something else, I don't really know. But he has an awesome design and awesome weapon. Okay, Andrew, what's number three? Napalm Man. Napalm Man. Man. Okay, so he actually has controversy surrounding him in some areas. So, yeah, go watch Gaijin Goomba to learn that. So, Napalm Man is like an upgrade of Bomb Man. Like, Dr. Watson said, oh, I'm going to make Napalm Man. I'm not going to bomb him, and then he sees Megan and find Dr. Cast that can make me funny. He says, I'm going to, I want to be the villain of this game. Ah! And he goes, then he learns that he, Mega Man learns that he's the true villain. Spoilers. Okay, but, Napalm Man stage, like you go in out in tunnels, and that's, it's super trapped, and has a tiger enemy, it's pretty cool. And then when you find him in his boss lair, there are tanks in the background. I see them. Go play Mega Man 5. You can download on Wii, Wii U, um, 3DS to go see. Alright, what's number two, Andrew? Gyro Man. Okay, so, Gyro Man, do not say Euro Man. <laughs> so, Gyro Man's from Mega Man 5, and he's another mode of transportation. He has a helicopter. Like, in this fight, he goes up, and then. It's random, but he falls back down, and you could get screwed. Alrighty, what's number one, Andrew? Oreo. Okay, it's actually Ryu. I don't think I should include it, but it's pretty awesome. So Ryu is in the Mega Man game. Street Fighter X Mega Man, he's a boss, and you get the Hadouken as your power. So yeah, in Mega Man X, you already get to do the Hadouken! And I think in one of the other ones, one of the bosses in Mega Man X, he does the Hadouken! So that's it, guys. Post in the comments what video game I should do next. Now, I cannot do Team Fortress 2, Call of Duty, Halo, any rated M for Mature game. So yeah, I'm only 8. So yeah, guys, I think I'm going to do Pac-Man and Mario after Sonic, so see ya.